Greetings. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be introducing a very handy feature called Ask My Accountant. Now, if you are using QuickBooks at desktop and QuickBooks online, sometimes you're going to encounter transactions that you're not sure um, how to book. So this is where the Ask My Accountant feature comes into play because you could create this account and book transactions to this account that will serve as a placeholder for your accountant or your CPA to answer in reference to the transactions. Now inside of the easy step interview this account is automatically set up as part of the temporary accounting um, chart of accounts However, if you accidentally deleted this account, I can show you how to add it back to your chart of accounts and use it as a placeholder for transactions that you need to ask your accountant about. So to set up the Ask My Accountant account is very simple to do. So basically what you would do is you want to go to company depending on the version that you're using. I'm using the accountant desktop version. However, if you are using QuickBooks Pro or Premier, you can click on company and go down to your chart of accounts. Now, when you look at your chart of accounts, you know that these are all of the accounts that were established either in the Easy Step interview or accounts that you set up on your own. Now to add the actual Ask My Accountant account, you want to click on the Accountant button, the Account button down here at the bottom left hand corner and then you want to scroll up to New. So you always want to use the next number in the sequence. So of course this could be any type of transaction. It could be an expense, um, it could be an asset, it could be basically any type of question that you need to ask your accountant about. So we just simply say, uh, just for the purpose of setting up the account, we can call it an expense account. And when we do that, we actually can go and begin to set up the actual Ask My Accountant account. So when QuickBooks gives you the option to start setting up the accounts, of course you would want to use the next number in the your numbering sequence and the account name would be Ask My Accountant. And inside the description, you can put a simple description of what this account is going to be related to. So in my description, I'll just simply say ask about transactions that well ask about transactions where we are not sure where to book so that's a simple explanation in your description because this is what the account is going to serve as just a temporary account now this account is intended to be zeroed out. So as far as tax line mapping is concerned, we can say that this is not tax related because hopefully um, at the end of the tax year, we're able to, we will be able to clear out this account because all of our questions in reference to things that are booked in this actual account are rectified by our accountant or our CPA. So any transactions that you are not sure of where to book it or you have a general question in reference to where this should go it's going to be placed under this ask my accountant account uh, so once that account is actually set up it becomes part of your chart of accounts which is listed here so anytime you have a transaction that you're not sure where to book you have the Ask My Accountant on there, you just book it there, and your accountant could basically determine 
where on a chart of accounts that transaction should go. Now that concludes the Ask My Accountant uh, feature. It's quite simple to, to set up and it's quite useful whenever you are entering transactions that you're uh, not sure of. Now in the next video I'm going to show you another feature on QuickBooks. I'll probably switch it over to another version where you could use a feature called send to my accountant where if you have an accountant that you're working with and you have a question about QuickBooks something in QuickBooks or you want the accountant to actually fix up your QuickBooks file that you're working on you can simply send the your accountant a copy of your QuickBooks um, desktop company file and the accountant will receive it on their end fix up whatever they need to fix up send it back to you and you can incorporate the accountants changes so that's just another feature that's available inside of QuickBooks so I look forward to seeing you in my next video be sure to subscribe to this page for future videos and I look forward to the next lecture thank you